Hi guys, I'm Kushbu and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so yeah, before we start this video, I'm here to tell uh, little things. Um, I'm here with uh, I'm here with a disclaimer, and I want you guys to like listen to it like really properly before you before we move on to the video. The first thing that I would like to tell is I think you guys have noticed as well as the as the title of this. Um, video reads um, Nipples Kids reacting to Nipples Struggles videos and I'm sure you guys have seen this before in Paradigm TV and before you guys like comment all the weird things like oh yeah she's cheating, cheater, copy and all that stuff the, f the first thing that I want to say is that I I watched this video when I was in Hong Kong itself and I like really liked this video and I got really inspired by the video and I wanted to do something like that um, with the kids of Hong Kong and um, since like in the video that Paradin TV did um, they had like Nepalese kids like of Nepal itself and they the Nepalese kids like who are born and who are brought up here they kind of already know like the scenarios of Nepal like what goes around here and what are the things here and then but the kids in Hong Kong like they have like absolutely no idea because uh, I stay in both and it's like very near to the airport so please do not mind the plane coming in and going in every two minutes I guess so but the kids of Hong Kong like they have absolutely no idea at all because they've not they, the only time they've been here is like I think once or twice in their lifetime and those are the kids from 8 to 16 years of age and um, they've not seen this life at all and um, the only Nepal they know is Kathmandu as I said before in my previous video as well and I wanted to show them this to see how they react on it and um, yeah before you guys say oh she's cheating and all that stuff please know that it's called inspired not cheating inspired I've been inspired by that video to make something of my own so that I can like like I can take out like the true genuine reactions out of them because they have not seen something like that ever in their life and um, also I sent a message to Susan, Susan Bania saying that I really loved that uh, loved his video and I wanted to do something like that but then he didn't reply because I'm sure he gets like thousands of messages every day and he's not going to see all of them so yeah I'm here with my own version of it and the second thing that I would like to tell is that this is very important guys the second thing I'd like to tell is that all the kids who are reacting to the videos are from 8 to 16 years of age. Yeah, they are kids. And whatever they're saying are genuine. They've not been prompted by anyone to say anything as such. Whatever they, they have been taken out of their mouth is all of their views, all of their opin opinions. And the, those some things that they say might not go well with some of you guys. Because I know some guys are like very sensitive and in many different things in many different ways but it might not go well with some of you guys but please know that there are children um, and they've never seen this side of the world and uh, since I think since I've been I've used those children in my videos I think it's my responsibility to protect them and if I see any kind of comments that are like um, rude towards those children I'm sorry I'll have to delete those comments because uh, yeah they're kids and uh, yeah let's be positive let's uh, embrace them and uh, give them positive uh, response so that we can show them how grown-up people act like how what grown-up and what being human like means yeah let's be an example to those kids and uh, yeah let's take all of it positively so yeah that is it guys uh, i hope you guys enjoy the video and please don't forget to share with your friends families and um yeah enjoy the video guys bye and I'm nine years old. I'm in Nepali but I live in Hong Kong as you already know. Hi, my name is Alicia and I'm eight years old. Hi, my name is Shalina and I'm 16 years old. Hello, this is Shivir and you're watching Style Scrap Kushpoo. So I'm going to react 
about this video. And oh wait, I haven't introduced myself. I'm 12 years old. I'm Shivan Tapa. I come from Nepal. And today we are going to react about Nepali struggles. Let's learn like the struggles. So I'll, I'll just show you the video. Uh, this is the video of how the village students of Nepal they Nepal? go to school. Yeah. Okay. Could this be the most extreme school run in the world? I scared. The rapidly flowing waters of Nepal's oh Shuni River might be well known to adventure sports enthusiasts. Is this real? But these yeah. residents of the Benegat district take their lives in their hands yeah. often yeah, several times a day yeah. using hand operated cable crossings to reach the other side. There are few permanent bridges on the river and they are many miles apart, forcing the locals to use these more direct, if less safe, routes. In recent years, accidents have increased demand for footbridges to be built in the area. Because there's no other way. In 2010, way. There are no five people ways. died, falling into the water when a cable snapped, and many others have suffered injuries, including oh losing fingers. Recently, Nepal's Prime Minister, KP Oli, announced a plan to replace the cable crossing with 366 suspension bridges over the next two years. And in January 2016, the first of these bridges, connecting the villages of Mantali and Gimdi, over the Bagmati River. Seriously? It's crazy. It's so scary. What do you think of it? Really sad. Um, and, um, like, their hands are really painful. And, like, uh, like, pe like five people, like, died. And it's kind of really scary that I didn't know. You didn't know? Yeah, I didn't know. What do you think? Oh, I think people have to risk their life for doing this. And, and their hands, their palms hurt for so they're doing it. They, so they might have to risk their life for doing it for school. Yeah. The government sucks. It's not trying to do anything. It's not even trying at all. That's so scary. So the next video that you're reacting on is about um, how people in Kathmandu, especially capital city where you've been there last year, mm -hmm. um, struggles for water, like everyday water. Clean water? Drinking water. Oh my god. <laughs> The water is What do you think? Think, well, thing is that every time when the water tank gets here, people will crowd up and gather around, and they might fight for water. Yeah. So why do you think they're fighting for water? Because they they need to like they need water. Well, they need water for washing hands, clothes, for cooking and drinking also. And. And they also need to survive with clean water because if they don't have access to clean water, they might be have disease or illness. And Do you know that Nepal is the second richest country in the world in terms of water resources? No. Yes. No, it's not. It is. How? Second richest. Brazil being the first, Nepal is second richest. And people are still fighting for water. Why? Why do you think so? <coughs> what do you think? 
why are we not getting clean water being the second richest country in the world because of stupid government yeah whose mistake do you think it is think like all around the world thinks. because some people like when they wash their hands in the tap mm -hmm. they don't like close it properly so yeah. what do you think of that video shocked you're shocked so now you are you appreciative that you have access to clean water every time mm -hmm. in your home do you realize that now mm -hmm. yeah. you could just like sell you know hydropower projects and all that hydropower and we could just sell it to our neighbor countries and mm -hmm. become like one of the most developed countries in the world mm -hmm. just because of our water resources Amazing. but water, yeah no way <laughs> nothing to say speechless yeah pretty much the next video you're reacting on is about the road systems in nepal okay okay it's very dangerous because there's no lights there no lights? I mean, red, green, yellow lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're driving in water. What the heck? Oh, Jesus. Only been to Kathmandu. Terrible. The car almost like fell off the edge, like it's really slippery. That's sad, right? Yeah. Why do they not? make like bridges that can walk made out of like, OMG girl that's not supposed to happen is it still like that? where? like the roads yeah that's like the prison thing prison scenario of Nepal but I don't see that in Nepal that's because you've only been to Kathmandu right? Oh. Hmm. that's like in the other parts of Nepal the road in Nepal is made out of dirt in other countries, they're made out of cement. Why is the road in Nepal not made out of cement? Why do you think so? <clears throat> because they don't have the money to buy it. Who does not have the money? The government. So what do you think? Nepal's government is poor? I think so. You think so? Probably not. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Oh, I think people, like, might have to suffer from car sickness because the road on the way is kind of bumpy and they might go like that and they might have car sick, they might have to like vomit. Do you think they should have like a proper road system? Yes. Okay, so the next video that you're reacting on is also related to the roadways. What does it say? A school girl drowned in mud in Kathmandu. Watch it. No one watched it, it's scary. You've already seen it? She drowns? Yeah. Okay. Cool girl drowns in mid the middle of Kathmandu. What this happens at Kathmandu too? Okay. Yes, I have to watch it. Do you want to say it again? No. No? 
What do you think of that video? Terrifying. Terrifying? What do you think happened? Wait, why did, why did she drown? Because there was a hole in there and she couldn't like... Because it was flooded and, could, and she couldn't see like... Like she didn't know where to step on. She might have stepped on the hole and fell down there. <gasps> oh my god. So she went in? Yeah, and came out through another open and whose fault do you think it is government government why do you think it's government's fault i think it's a government's fault because because you know, there's like this little boulder right next to there just sitting just standing there for no reason <laughs> and that causes the drown stand up and do something do something about it, right? Yeah. yeah. Government is a kind of, I think he's in charge for doing right for his country. So the government in Nepal has to. First of all, whose mistake it is that there is no proper drainage system in the government? Whose mistake it is that they've not blocked the big hole that was in the road opening, lying open? Government. Whose mistake it is that there is no proper pitch road and that all the water just gets there the government so what do you have to say to the government the government of nepal stand up and do something for your country so we are done reacting yes what do you think like how do you feel after seeing all that struggles of nepal i'm sad you're sad that nepal has to go through all these struggles yes yeah. You, do you think that you're very lucky enough? Yeah. Lucky enough to have clean water. Lucky enough to have clean water. Alright guys, thanks for watching and please make sure you subscribe and comment down below if you want to know more about it. Just just go, just search Nepali Life Struggle and you will find many different stuff that will make your heart work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Kushwanti and press the thumbs up button and of course share this to your family, friends and farewell. Bye. Bye. Peace out. You know, ship your top on the server. The FX a lot, bro. Yeah, I've been working out. Peace out. Bye.